Microchips AVR IoT WG is an easy to use platform for prototyping and designing your IoT sensor node applications. Out of the box, this board can connect to Google Cloud and start transmitting sensor data within 30 seconds. Partnering with Google, Microchip provides the board with smart and low power control, easy connectivity, and secure authentication. This video will walk you through the extremely easy steps to get the board started and running. Let's take a look at the resources on the board before we start. On the core function part of the board, the three main components are ATECC608A crypto authentication device, which provides secure authentication to Google Cloud. ATmega4808 microcontroller, which provides smart and low power interactions with sensors and other modules on the board. And ATWink1510 module, which provides connectivity via Wi-Fi. Besides those, a light sensor and a temperature sensor are also populated on the board to provide sensor data. On the support function part of the board, a power regulator, a battery charger, a USB connector, and an NEDBG programmer and debugger are also populated. There are four LED indicators on the board with four different colors. Each LED indicates the corresponding condition of the board. The blue LED indicates a successful connection to the local Wi-Fi network. The green one indicates that the board is connected to the Google Cloud server. The yellow light flashes when a sensor data packet is being published to the cloud. There is also a red LED that indicates there is an error. Therefore, if everything is set up correctly, you should see the blue light and the green light on and the yellow light flashing. To get started with the AVR IoT board, there are basically two simple steps. Firstly, to set up the board with the Wi-Fi credential of your local network. And then to see the published sensor data on the cloud. When the board is connected to your computer through USB, you can set up or modify the Wi-Fi credential by performing the simple one-click operation or using command lines through the serial port. When there is no USB serial connection, you can configure the board as a Wi-Fi access point by pressing switch zero button at board startup, and then set up or modify the credential by using your mobile device. You can either use your computer or your mobile devices to see the sensor data in the cloud. Now let's walk through these one by one. In this tutorial, I'm using my personal cell phone to set up a hotspot for Wi-Fi connection because the company's Wi-Fi network has a business server. Please note that a similar situation may also occur when you are trying to use your company's Wi-Fi with the board. The simplest way to set up the board is what we call one-click or drag-and-drop operation. After connecting the board to your computer through USB, the board should be recognized as a flash drive. By clicking on the Click Me file in the drive, it will bring you to an HTML page to set up the Wi-Fi credential. Simply enter the credential of your Wi-Fi network and click on the Download Configuration button. A configuration file is then generated. Drag or directly download the file to the flash drive, in another word, the board. Then within a few seconds, you should be able to see the light and temperature data in the web page. You can see your data anywhere at this address, which is avr-iot.com slash device slash the ID number of your device. Another way to set up the board when it's connected through USB is to use serial command lines through a terminal. I am using the terminal app TerraTerm for this tutorial. Firstly, set up the serial port connection to the Curiosity Virtual COM port, the COM port of the board. Then make sure the serial port setup is the same as what's on the screen. After that, go to the terminal setup. Set the receive and transmit to be carriage return plus line feed, and enable local echo. Go back to the terminal and hit enter you should be able to see all the available commands. You can also get some more information like the firmware version of the device and the device ID number. To set up the Wi-Fi credential, simply follow the command and type in your network SSID, password, and security type. To see the sensor data, you can either click on the Click Me file 
or copy the device ID and enter the address in your web browser. When there is no USB serial connection to the board, it can also be set up by starting up as a Wi-Fi access point. To do that, simply press and hold switch 0 on the board during power up. Then you should be able to find a Wi-Fi network called AVR.IoT. Connect to this Wi-Fi network using a computer or a mobile device. A web page will pop up for you to enter your Wi-Fi credential. You can also search for available networks in the web page. After setting up the Wi-Fi credentials, you can get access to your sensor data wherever you are. We have already talked about how to see the data using your computer. However, there is another convenient way to get access to the data when you are using a mobile device. Simply scan the QR code on the back of your board using your smartphone. It will bring you to the sensor data web page. In this tutorial, we have covered the simple steps to get you started with the AVR IoT board before you prototype with your private Google Cloud account and your own firmware. For more information on getting started with the board, please visit the link on your screen.